Despite the unprecedented recession here and allegations of corruption over some construction contracts, Rio is all but ready for its summer showpiece. It has overcome similar problems to previous host cities, but beyond that it faces issues peculiar to this country. And top of the list is the Zika virus. A party of British Olympic officials has just finished a week's recce here. In that short time, 142 new suspected cases of the virus have been reported. 37 of those have already been confirmed. On the face of it, the fight against this epidemic feels inadequate. But failure to control the outbreak could deter not only tourists, but potentially athletes too, particularly women. We are not going to push anybody to come here and to compete. It has to be their own choice. But, but as I said, we, we feel confident that, that if they follow the strategies that we, we understand from the experts, that they can come out here and, and compete, uh, knowing that they, you know, they've taken every, every precaution that they need to take. During the Games, this will be a common sight at all venues, and organisers hope a reassuring one. Standing water, where the Zika-carrying mosquito breeds best, surrounds the athletes' village. After some pressure, organisers have agreed to install air conditioning here and place mesh over any open windows. For Team GB officials, preparing the ground now ahead of the Games is one thing, but once the athletes arrive here, it's vital they can concentrate fully on their sport and winning medals and not be distracted by concerns over their health and their safety. Rio's natural amphitheatres will provide stunning backdrops to many events, no more so than the venue for both rowing and the canoe sprints. But like the sailing location, water quality here, caused by the city's sewage system and the subsequent risk of infection, has been a concern for some time. It's something we're aware of, very, very aware in, in our sport. But, but they have been cleaning it up. I mean, you know, my first visit uh, six, seven years ago, uh, it is significantly better now than it was then. The British delegation left Brazil with few lingering worries. And if it stays that way, next time they get here, it will be the sport that focuses them and nothing else. Steve Scott, ITV News, Rio de Janeiro.